Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to update your PS3 from 3.55 official firmware or 3.55 Canial custom firmware which if you followed my video last time I showed you how to update from official 3.55 to uh, Canial 3.55 custom firmware. So any of those two should be fine to update to this. Uh, now obviously why you would want to update to this because you get uh, all these different features like rebug um, features and you can start installing package files and it also allows you this is the latest firmware at, as it stands at the moment uh, 4.78 and it allows you to go online uh, now that will be a separate video showing you how to get online but uh, that will probably be the next video so anyway we're gonna get straight into it uh, first things first you want to download these two things uh, here now one is the actual uh, update itself and the other one is uh, Multiman. Now uh, I will explain Multiman in a minute. So once you have downloaded both of the files from the description, all you want to do is uh, get your memory stick and plug it into your computer. Uh, I have done that. So you just want to open the files here. And as you can see, uh, my memory stick's already got a few things in it. Yours, if you followed from my last video, you will um, you would know you should only have like a PS3 folder um, and click on that and you've got an update folder as well. Now you might uh, or might not have the file, uh, no, or, sorry a file in here, if uh, not that's uh, pretty good. As you can see I've already got the uh, firmware, um, already, so, yeah the firmware update already dropped into the memory stick. Uh, like I said get uh, you can download that from the description. Now the only thing, once you've uh, dragged that in, you want to rename this. Now, like I said, if you followed from my last video, you'll know how to do this, but I will explain it again. Uh, this, you always have to uh, change an, an update file to update uh, that, um, sorry, PS3 up that, all in capital letters. So I will do that now. just like that so not update but up that so without the e and just click enter now that's ready to be updated the ps3 will be able to uh, recognize that now as you've renamed it and uh, the only other thing is to go back to the root of your memory card, uh, stick where you can see i've got all these files now when it comes to getting downloading homebrew um such as this multi-man which is also going to be in the description this file here that this is a uh, homebrew and these are pkg files now these you just have to drag over to your root of the memory card uh, stick i keep saying memory card <laughs> to the memory uh, memory stick and your ps3 will be able to read it so all you do like i say is drag that over and obviously it's telling me to replace it because i've already got mine there but uh, yeah, that's it for the computer side. All you need to do is right click and safely eject your memory card stick and uh, uh, I will meet you over on the PS3 and show you how to update and uh, install Multiman. Okay, so now you are on your PS3. Uh, the first thing is you want to put in your memory stick into your PS3. Make sure it is on the uh, right USB slot, the furthest one to the right, just so uh, data transfer is a lot more um, smoother and you don't get any errors. Uh, so yeah, all you need to do is scroll along to settings and scroll up to system update. Click that. And you should get these two options, update via internet or update via storage media. You never want to update via internet on a jailbroken PS3 because you will just update it to retail a, you know, software or sorry firmware and you will lose your jailbreak uh, so just go to uh, update via storage medium once your USB is plugged in and you should get this little pop-up here that says the following update was found version 4.78 rebug now that's obviously what we put onto the USB and all you have to do is press X and go through the installation and it should just you know install uh, it might restart and uh, in, you know do another uh, process bar but once that it should restart and you should be on the firmware now I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm already currently on this update and I don't want to lose any of my data uh, but if you want to know how what the process is like you can follow my video 
my previous video showing you actually how to jailbreak it uh, in that it shows you the same method but just with a different update uh, also if you do get an error using uh, using this method of uh, trying to install updates you can do it a different method by putting your ps3 into safe mode or recovery mode as it's called uh, now but to do that I did show you my uh, last video but I would try and explain it now uh, all you need to do is turn off your system uh, until you can see the red standby light and you just want to uh, turn it on and keep your finger on the uh, power button uh, until it powers off uh, completely until you hear a few beeps and it should power off again do it once again just put your finger on the power button this time you should hear three beeps um, you should hear the first initial beep when you put uh, put your finger on it then you should hear a second beep a few seconds later and straight after that you should hear a third beep the minute you hear the third beep take your finger off and you your ps3 should go into recovery mode uh, all you need to do is make sure you've got the USB on hand because it does ask you to plug in your controller via USB. Uh, so once you've done that, it should that pop-up should disappear, and you should get six options. Uh, each of them do different things. All you need to worry about is the sixth one that puts your sorry that allows you to do this same method, uh, and it's called system update. Just make sure you've got your USB plugged into your uh, your PS3. And uh, it go it will go through the same um, method, and hopefully you should be able to install it without any errors. Because uh, this method here can um, on the X and B can get some errors sometimes. But if you don't, then you know all is good. Once you have updated your system, go to system system information. If you just scroll down from the top. And as you can see, you will be on version 4.78 like I am. Uh, there are different ways of telling what firmware you are on. Uh, as you can see, the PlayStation Network has got a red logo for like the rebug kind of theme because they are black and uh, red kind of theme. So you know that method. Also, obviously, the way you can tell is that you should still have your package manager and everything. Now... The last and final thing is to install Rebug Toolbox and Multiman, which I showed you how to download in the description. Uh, the only one in the description will be uh, Multiman because uh, Rebug Toolbox comes uh, pre or uh, comes pre with the uh, firmware. Now, to install Rebug Toolbox, you just go into Package Manager, uh, Install Package Files, and here you should see. PS3 system uh, storage just click on that and as you can see there it says rebug toolbox just click X on that uh, it should take a couple of seconds to install uh, and the next thing is go to standard and you should see uh, multi-man there now this is the one that I showed you how to download um, or sorry that is the download in the description and uh, once you've got those two installed you're pretty much ready to go now Rebug Toolbox allows you to do a few uh, different things. It allows you to put your PS3 into Cobra mode and change it from retail to uh, 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 DX. Um, you can change it from CX to DX. Uh, you can do quite a few things. You can find out your system information and uh, just a few different tools and stuff. But I will probably talk about that in a later uh, video, you know, more in detail. Uh, Multiman like I, uh, I might have explained before, but Multiman allows you to install uh, any retail game onto your HDD and play it without the disc. And uh, it will be like having the retail game with all the updates. You can update it. You can go online. Uh, everything, it will install it straight to the HDD without your uh, disc. You can also um, do uh, FTP... Uh, what is it? F. You can also do FTP, uh, which allows you to um, transfer files and stuff um, over to and from your computer over Wi-Fi, and also it allows you to uh, transfer ISO files, so PS1, PS2, uh, PS3, and PSP files. Uh, ISO files to Multiman to be able to play them 
uh, straight for Multiman. So yeah, that's pretty much it. These two things here you'll need, uh, and once you have updated, once again, to 4.78, uh, that's about it. So, like I said, I will show you in the next video how to go online on this uh, firmware. And uh, that's about it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack the like button. Uh, so, yeah, as always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you.